The first topic is to write and analyze conjectures by inductive reasoning. Basically, we need to analyze some patterns or you need to predict what's going on, you know, in set of values or set of times. Or in this example, we have appointment times. Let's see this. Write a conjecture that describes the pattern in the sequence. Then use the conjecture to find the next terms in the sequence. Conjecture is telling something, you know, it's not like a conclusion, but it's similar to a conclusion. You're saying this is what's happening. Now you can see the appointment times, that is 8.30 a.m., 9.15 a.m., 10 a.m., 10.45 a.m. So what's going on? It might be a doctor's uh, clinic and the appointment times are given such that after every certain time you get another appointment. So if you look closely, analyze this, look for the patterns. Now what's being done? Over here, you can see there's 45 minutes gap from 8.30 to 9.15. Again, 45 minutes. Again, there is a 45 minutes. So what will be the next appointment time? Add 45 minutes to 10.45. That will be half past 11. So this, uh, you know, each appointment is 45 minutes after the previous appointment so the next appointment will be 45 minutes after 10 45 a.m that is 11 30 a.m or half 11. so this is how so simple this is now let's see another problem where there are numbers you can see there's number half then one two four what would be the next number again write them and analyze the pattern over here it's 0 0.5 1 2 4 if you can see, you're multiplying by 2, isn't it? Over here also, it's multiplied by 2. Again, it's multiplied by 2. It should be good for all the terms. It should be the same pattern for all the terms. And now, you know, the next one will be, again, multiplying by 2. It's multiplied by 2. So, all you need to do is multiply 2 to 4. And you will get 8. The 8 is the correct answer. And this is it. So, now, these problems are for you to find out. Take your time. Try solving each of them and then compare the answers. So over here you can see 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, it will be 24 and so on. Because 4 more than the previous term. Here you can see it's 2, 2, 2, 3, 2s, 4, 2s, 5, 2s and so on. Same way over here you're multiplying half each time. And it will be multiply 2 in the denominator or half to the entire term. Over here, now this is interesting. Yeah, you're just doing each term one and half. Okay, uh, sorry. If you look, analyze this properly, now you can see one is being deducted, and this is what? 11 by 2. This is 5.5, 4.5, 3.5. So basically, half is being deducted. Okay, so over here, just that it's not written in the decimal. Uh, places so that's why you know you just get confused but if you look carefully it is 6 11 by 2 is 6.5 5.5 so then it is 5 then 9 by 2 is 4.5 and then we have 4 and then next one will be 3.5 that is 7 by 2 so that's the answer same way we have did a times problem similarly you can find the times and we a percentage humidity is reduced by here it is 7, over here it's 7, so next one will be 79%. So that's the first step over here again. You can see uh, there is some pattern over here, 3, 3, it's keep on moving. So it is being shaded over here now. What's happened over here, over here, over here, over here. Now, this, 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 and next one would be going up. Why? It's on the counterclockwise. And then this pattern is reducing over here. And the next one will be just 2 because from 4 it's reduced to 3. Then it's 2 and it's 1 similarly. And then now we will look into last type of problem. It's still in the first topic. There's one question. See, the question number 9 is included. That's a different type. Now, say for example, they are asking you, make a conjecture about the sum of squares of two consecutive natural numbers. List or draw some examples that support your conjecture. Now, they're asking you to make, you know, uh, find sum of squares of two consecutive natural numbers. What does it mean? 
natural numbers are counting numbers. They are like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, all those, okay? 0 is not included in natural number. And it's only whole numbers like 1, 2, 3, 4, and so on. Now, 2 consecutive means if I choose 2, then the next one must be continuous. It will be 3. And then it goes on. We need to sum the squares. That means we need to square this plus square this. So think of any number in your mind and write it down. I'm thinking of 7. Okay. Square this plus the next term, 8, eight squared. Okay. We need to find the pattern of that. So let's take some examples over here. Random examples. 1 square plus 2 square. 7 square plus 8 square. 10 square plus 11 square. Find the answers. You can find more, but these are plenty of examples over here. What is it? Does it end only with 1? No, 3, 5. But if you look closely, you will come to know that all these numbers will end only with odd numbers. See, the all, all the sums are odd numbers. So the conjuncture is the sum of squares of two consecutive natural numbers is odd numbers. That's it. Similarly, over here, the product of two odd numbers. You need to take some examples. Take two examples over here and uh, then, wait, sorry, over here, let me take. Now, what do you take is the product of two odd numbers. Let's take any two odd numbers, 3 into 3 into 1 or 3 into 7. You can take huge numbers as well, but it's just that you have to calculate it by yourself. So take uh, reasonable answer, reasonable values. It doesn't need to be consecutive, so it's fine. Again, let me take 5 into 7. Uh, say 7 into 7. Okay, you can take more examples. Multiply them. Over here, the answer is 3. Here, it's 21, 35, 49. Every time, 9 into 3. 9 three is a will be 27 so every time you take two odd numbers the product is also an odd number that is the conjecture you take some examples check it out and then you can write it so these are the two types of questions so if you're getting confused just go back over here everything is mentioned in details you can follow the same steps and try you can try some more you know uh, you can try more examples say Try the product of two even numbers. Sometimes they might not, might not, you might not find any relation. That is fine. But sometimes you do find relation. You can try, you know, perfect squares or, you know, squaring. Add the squares. Try different things. Odd squares. Keep trying. You can, you know, you can find the patterns. So this is it. So see what is given and then find some examples and then give your uh, conjecture.